you know, Jean-Marc is, he's just, he's adverse to vanity. Uh, he's adverse to the sort of Hollywood system. He's adverse to convention generally. And yet he has a huge heart and uh, doesn't stray away from the harder things to handle and his feelings, but ultimately always comes back to this sort of semi-conventional idea that love kind of and honesty and truth kind of conquer all and that the truth really does kind of set you free. Working with him and his process is a whole other thing. Um, I love, uh, I've never been on a set before and I've made many movies where you come to work and there is no, you walk on set, you put on your, your wardrobe and then you start working. There's no makeup or lighting and everything is handheld and he's moving in for a close up and then the next day he's running across the street and getting a wide shot and it's really a, it's, it's the type of process that I, it's how I work as an actor, how I wish to work as an actor. You know, it is not cumbersome, it's agile, and he's always looking for an honest moment. What's relatable is that he is struggling, like he's, he's struggling to find who he is. I think that seems to me, and I don't mean to be like, I speak for myself when I say this, um, we're all searching for who we eventually and we want to be. The life that we think we want to have is not always the life that we actually really do want to have. And I think that's incredibly relatable. What drew me to it was that as I read the screenplay, and then as we made the movie, every time I thought I was moving into something that was sort of eye-rollingly conventional, um, the script would kind of lead me into a totally different place. And I was always surprised at how unconventional and surprising and also really how uplifting and funny it was. Um, there's the uh, initial moment for everyone in the audience when they see this movie where they, you know, they kind of cover their mouth and go, oh God, should I be laughing at this? And then all of a sudden, as they give in, you know, almost more than half the movie, there's significant laughter. And I think it's because there's a joy in being part of a universal feeling, which is, um, we don't walk through this world without experiencing loss. And hopefully, we don't walk through this world without experiencing love. Um, I know there are people who haven't, and Davis is potentially someone who, at the beginning of the story, could be one of those people. And uh, as a result of taking everything apart, he's not. He learns how to love.